one, zero. This is the record-breaking reaction. It is more than 150 million degrees centigrade. This machine is stronger than 280,000 Earths. Hard to imagine, right? Yet scientists have built a magnet so powerful it could lift an aircraft carrier straight out of the ocean. It generates a magnetic field of 13 Tesla, an intensity that redefines the limits of engineering. And this isn't just about breaking records. This magnet is the central solenoid, the core of ITER, the world's largest fusion experiment in France. If it works, it could unlock limitless clean energy and rewrite humanity's future. Stay tuned, because this story changes everything. The impossible machine becomes real. For over half a century, scientists have dreamed of recreating the sun's power here on Earth. Not with coal, oil, or even traditional nuclear fission, but with fusion, the reaction that lights the stars. Unlike anything we use today, fusion doesn't burn fuel that pollutes or leave behind mountains of radioactive waste. Instead, it uses hydrogen isotopes, some of the most abundant resources on the planet, to unleash staggering amounts of clean energy. The problem has always been the same. How do you hold plasma that burns at 150 million degrees Celsius, hotter than the core of the sun, long enough to make the reaction useful? That question created one of the greatest engineering challenges in human history. Enter ITER, the world's largest scientific collaboration, where 35 nations have joined forces to build a tokamak, a donut-shaped reactor designed to cage plasma inside invisible magnetic fields. If it works, fusion could shift humanity into a new energy era. The beating heart of ITER. At the core of ITER lies a machine unlike anything humanity has ever built, the central solenoid. Think of it as the beating heart of the reactor, the giant electromagnet that drives electric current through the plasma, shaping and, and stabilizing it so fusion can take place. Without it, ITER simply would not function. This magnet is colossal, nearly 60 feet tall, wider than a city bus, and weighing more than a thousand tons. Its strength is so extreme that engineers compare it to lifting an aircraft carrier straight off the ground. To achieve this, it's constructed from six massive modules, each weighing over 270,000 pounds. Every module took years to design, test, and perfect before making the long journey from California to southern France. Once stacked together, these modules form the most powerful pulsed superconducting magnet ever made. When fully energized, the solenoid will control plasma currents hotter than the sun, making it the central player in proving whether controlled fusion can finally work. It is more than machinery. It's the pulse that could define humanity's energy future. Built in California, bound for France, the central solenoid wasn't born overnight. For 15 years, engineers at General Atomics in San Diego pushed the limits of materials, science, and magnet technology to make it possible. Inside a specialized facility in Poway, California, teams experimented with superconducting wires, cooling systems, and tools that had to be invented from scratch. The sheer scale of the project demanded new manufacturing methods, precision beyond aerospace standards, and coordination with a global supply chain stretching across continents. Every module of the solenoid was assembled and rigorously tested before being carefully packed for the long trip to France, where Ita rises from the ground in Cadarache. Watching the transport convoys snake through highways, carrying loads heavier than jumbo jets, gave a glimpse of just how extraordinary this effort was. These weren't simply shipments of machinery. They were milestones in a decades-long dream. When the solenoid was finally delivered, it wasn't just a victory for General Atomics. It was proof that collaboration between industry, science, and nations can tackle challenges once thought impossible and bring the future of fusion a step closer. Numbers that break records. The central solenoid isn't just massive in size, it's staggering in performance. Once energized, it will unleash a magnetic field of 13 Tesla, more than 280,000 times stronger than Earth's own magnetic field. To put that into perspective, MRI machines in hospitals operate at just 1.5 to 3 Tesla. 
and they're already considered intense. This magnet will hold 6.4 gigajoules of energy, roughly equal to a fully loaded Boeing 747 thundering down a runway at takeoff. Even more astonishing, the solenoid will drive 15 million amperes of current through ITER's plasma. That's nearly 10 times the current of a lightning strike, and not just for a split second. It can sustain that current for up to 500 seconds, long enough to test whether fusion can be maintained in a stable, controlled way. These numbers don't just break records, they redefine what's possible in engineering. The solenoid transforms ITER from a bold theory into a machine with the muscle to mimic the sun. Every Tesla, every Ampere, every second of stability brings humanity closer to solving the energy puzzle we've chased for generations. Why it matters beyond energy. So why should a magnet matter to you? Because this is about far more than physics, it's about the future we all live in. If ITER succeeds, fusion energy could unlock a world powered by virtually limitless clean electricity. Imagine artificial intelligence systems running on endless power without straining grids. Picture manufacturing plants operating with minimal emissions, or high-speed trains and electric cars charged by fusion-driven networks. A future like this wouldn't just cut carbon, it could reshape entire economies. Building and maintaining fusion plants will demand new materials, new industries, and millions of skilled jobs. For nations, the prize is even greater. Whoever masters fusion first won't just solve their energy problems, they'll lead the world in science, technology, and economic growth. But it's not only about power and politics, it's about survival. With climate change threatening coastlines, agriculture, and daily life, fusion could be humanity's best hope to break free from fossil fuels once and for all. A magnet may seem like a simple machine, but in this case, it's the hinge that could swing open a door to a cleaner, fairer, and more secure world. ITER's mission and what comes next. It's important to remember that ITER itself isn't designed to power our homes. Its mission is proof of concept, to show that sustained, controlled fusion is possible. The tokamak being built in southern France is an enormous donut-shaped chamber capable of holding plasma heated to more than 150 million degrees Celsius. At that temperature, any physical wall would vaporize instantly, which is why ITER relies on its powerful magnetic cage. The central solenoid sits at the core of this system, driving the current that keeps plasma circulating and stable. Without it, the plasma would collapse in a fraction of a second. With it, ITER aims to sustain fusion reactions for hundreds of seconds, a leap beyond anything achieved before. Success here would pave the way for DEMO, the next generation of reactors designed to generate actual electricity for the grid. ITER is the bridge, the bold experiment that could prove once and for all that the energy of the stars can be harnessed on Earth. The global race for fusion. ITER may be the centerpiece of global collaboration, but make no mistake, fusion is also a race. The United States holds a strong position thanks to General Atomics and its work on the central solenoid, along with the Die-D National Fusion Facility in San Diego. America also contributed to the National Ignition Facility, where scientists achieved the world's first fusion ignition, proving the physics is sound, but other players are charging ahead. China is running its own experimental tokamaks, pushing for breakthroughs at a record pace. Europe continues to lead through ITER itself, while private companies across the globe are racing to build smaller, faster reactors. This isn't just a contest of science, it's about shaping the energy, economies, and influence of the 21st century. The country or company that cracks fusion first could set the terms for decades to come. Every magnet installed, every test run, and every second of sustained plasma is more than research. It's a step in a high-stakes race for the future of power. The turning point for humanity when you step back, the implications of fusion are staggering. Imagine a world where energy scarcity simply doesn't exist. Cities lit without smokestacks. Cars, trains, and aircraft powered without draining the Earth's resources. Factories are humming without spewing greenhouse gases into the sky. 
abundance on this scale could reshape civilization itself. Energy wars might fade. Economies could grow without choking the planet. Developing nations could leapfrog into a cleaner, more prosperous future. But there's also urgency. If humanity hesitates, we risk being unprepared when the first successful reactors switch on. The nations and companies that lead in fusion will set the tone for global science, economics, and politics. We stand at a turning point, much like the dawn of electricity or the space age. This time, the horizon isn't a light bulb or a rocket. It's a star burning inside a machine. The central solenoid is more than a magnet. It's the symbol of humanity daring to grasp the power of the sun itself. And if it succeeds, the world may never be the same again. Conclusion The world's most powerful magnet isn't just an engineering marvel. It's a promise. A 60-foot machine built in California, now bound for France, could ignite the path to limitless clean energy. With ITER, humanity stands on the edge of proving that fusion can work. If it succeeds, industries will transform, economies will shift, and the very way we live will change forever. The countdown has begun. The question is, will we be ready when the sun's power is finally ours to hold?